the kingdom of heaven has come near. With these words, Jesus commissions the disciples and sends them out to share the good news of God. Important words reminding the disciples that God's kingdom, his love, his presence and power had come to this world through Jesus. And now the disciples were being called to continue his work. The 12 were being commissioned to do something that they had never done before, to meet the needs of those around them by curing the sick, raising the dead, healing lepers, casting out demons. And this was not done with their own might. Jesus gave them his authority and his power to do the work that he had started, specific work for their context, work that challenged them to get out of their comfort zones and to do things differently. Today, the call of the church is the same, to proclaim that the kingdom of God has come near to us and to do our part in making that kingdom a reality here on earth. This is the hope of the gospel, that God is at work in our world, transforming it into his image. The work that we are called to do is evident. We have gone through this time of a pandemic and it's not over. It has left people feeling alone and afraid, feeling isolated from family and friends, afraid of death and not knowing what is to come. And the sin of racism is ravaging our communities. The church is called to our work of repentance, of healing and justice, knowing that when our brothers and sisters in the black community are killed day after day, it is a violation of the gospel we proclaim each Sunday, a gospel that teaches us that each person is created in the very image of God. And people simply are searching for hope. There was a study done recently at the University of Copenhagen that showed that in the month of March, just as the pandemic was beginning to spread, internet searches for prayer skyrocketed, more than in the last five years, showing that people from all over are in need of prayer and the hope that comes with a relationship with God and that connection to God. The call is laid out before us. For the church to answer this call, God is commissioning us as he did the disciples to be different. We can't go back to where we were in February because the world has changed. The church has changed also. The needs are different and we as a nation and as a world are different. To proclaim that the kingdom of heaven has come near means that we have to move forward to where God is calling us, willing to take risks and to try new things for the sake of the gospel. You may remember that in Matthew chapter 9, shortly before this passage that we heard this morning, Jesus warns of putting new wine into old wineskins. It doesn't work. The skins are destroyed and wine is spilled, wasted and is no good. But I believe over the last few months, our partnership has shown how we can embody Christ's hope and do things differently to answer his call. This time apart has brought about a new sense of our call and a fresh desire of what it means to be the church in our world today, to meet the needs of those around us. We have engaged in online worship at the diocesan level and in our local congregations, connecting with people from all over, many of those people that do not attend our churches regularly when we're in our buildings. Relationships have been built across our partnership as we have envisioned together a new path forward. Collaborations between churches are beginning to form to better serve the needs of our communities. We have sought out new ways to help those in need, making and distributing masks, providing food to first responders, donating money to help organizations on the front lines, and marching together to stand against racism. And recently, our diocesan leadership has asked us and our local communities and across the partnership to have the difficult but needed conversations about racism. 
realizing that we as a predominantly white church do not have all the answers. So we are called to come alongside our brothers and sisters in the black community and to listen and to learn, support what we are called to support, challenge what we are called to challenge, do our part in ending an unjust system that we have benefited from. We are called to pray and pray often, inviting God into our human brokenness to change our hearts and to cast out the evil that is racism that infects all of humanity and to ask God to give us the courage to be the church that God has created with us through our words and our actions. And through it all, we have learned that working together means that we are one church and together we have more opportunities to learn from each other, to support one another, and to share the gospel in a larger capacity than any one of our churches could do on its own. The work is not done. As we move forward, we have to constantly ask ourselves, how do we continue to answer Jesus's call by creatively thinking of new ways to connect with one another, to connect with our communities, and to communicate the love of God that we know to be true? This work is not going to be easy. Look at what Jesus says in the text. This call this morning comes with a warning and with a disclaimer. Jesus says himself, I am sending you out like sheep in the midst of wolves. That doesn't sound very encouraging, but I've learned over the years that the good things in life never come easy and the great things of the church require risk sacrifice, and change. But we are not alone. The kingdom of heaven has come near is not just a theological sentence or a statement of purpose. It is a promise to us that God is near, that God is with us in this work, and that God is leading us to where we are called. We have an opportunity to do great things for the kingdom. Let us move forward, commissioned by Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, being excited and not afraid, knowing that through God in us, the kingdom of heaven has come near, that God is with us and is leading all of us to the future he is creating. Amen.